This set is very, very old. It is from the year 2000. Guys, the cards that you can get in here are uh, actually pretty dope. It's a combination of the set's jungle and base set put together. This is a sealed box right here, but not for long. Today we are doing our base set two box break in collaboration with Whatnot. This was actually a live stream box break from the Whatnot app and today we are bringing you the best of the best pulls. So if you guys want to check out the app and get in on our next box break, check out the link in the description. But drop a like if you guys are excited and I hope you enjoy this vintage super nostalgic Pokemon box opening. Goodbye seal on the outside of that. I always feel like it's so like, it's so sad taking off the seal on these boxes because they are so, so old and they have been sealed for 20 years. So thank you What's Not for having me on to open up this vintage, vintage Pokemon booster box. All right, good luck, my friend. Once again, the fire breathing dragons will be with us today. Let's go. Let's get it. Here we go. All right. So, we've got a do do o do you already know do Cubone, a Bulbasaur, okay, we got two Bulbasaurs, two packs in a row, hello, a Bill, and a Venonat, and, oh, a Polyrath, nice, all right, so you've secured the first hollow of the day, yo, that's what we're talking about, Mango, because look at the, look at the sparkle on that, my guy, beautiful, that looks really, really nice, a minor amount of edgeware on the back as well, so it's not a gem 10 but it is a, a beautiful looking card yeah guys these cards are so so beautiful nostalgic the whole thing all right let's see i'm feeling a nine tails in this one. it says clefable clefable hollow very nice wow all right so you've got your second hollow out of these two packs oh my god mango mango you was on fire he just puts the cool guy shades in the chat he's like yeah no big deal so this one looks pretty solid there are a couple of those print lines going horizontally on this one but these are like pretty decent i think there's a little bit of silver on this side as well and that was a little bit apparent in the last one but they're pretty solid like I don't know I feel like some of these old ones you can get a box of old cards that just got like <laughs> like they're just like disheveled all over the place this one has like a little bit I don't know like the the cutter machine 9000 did not do that one the best on the bottom there all right we've got a bill I'm here in Venusaur out here we got a Magnemite we've got a star you we've got a Caterpie I'll take a Venusaur all right let's see if we can get you a Venusaur here we've got an Alakazam holographic oh wow that is beautiful Look at the shine on this. Oh my God, that is stunning. Oh my goodness, dude. Congratulations. This is the most beautiful Alakazam holographic. I've seen. This is better than the base set one. Wow. Dude, look at this freaking, the hollow on this card is bananas. Congrats, dude. Oh my gosh. Sick. All right, Brando, we've got you right here. What are you hoping for? Danny the goat. Yo, chill. Hell yeah. Thank you, Psychedelic Foo. Love the Pokemon community. Y'all are amazing. Aw, you guys are seriously, this is like, this is so much fun. I love doing these, so thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, here we go. The anticipation's killing me. We'll see what we got. We got a Voltorb, a Bellsprout. Is this the last one? No, we got one more. We've got a Volpix. This is the error Volpix once again. But we have been told that the error Vulpix is in some instances m less rare than the regular <laughs> fixed Vulpix. Here we go. We've got an error Vulpix right here and a Venusaur holographic. Nice. Brando, congratulations. Look at that. Yo. Oh my goodness. Guys, this is sick. What a beautiful, beautiful card. Brando always, he does always pull the fire. Guys, the sparkle on these base set two cards is out of this world. This is crazy. It's it's actually better than the base set one. I'm gonna be so real. I feel like this box, we've got a little bit of, and this is common in the old boxes on the top here. This, this one is not a gem 10. It's got a little bit of shiny shine on the top there. Still though, dude, this is beautiful. This is a beautiful, beautiful, card congrats man all right brando i got you this raichu pack i still have the cards in the bag for my last break oh sick all right yo we've got a charmeleon great charmeleon right there the power with that starter pokemon cool let's see what else we got a maintenance a star you a caterpie 
Brando, what are we getting today? What are we getting today? We've got a switch and a Jigglypuff and a Raichu. Nice, look at that. The freaking sparkle on these cards is crazy. Let's go. All right, Raichu out of, was that the Raichu pack? You had the option of Raichu or Raichu for your packs and you got a Raichu out of it. Sick. Look at this card. Wow. All right, dude, fat swirl straight up. That is a, a nice swirl right there. Dude, the freaking shine on this is crazy. The swirl, you're talking about the swirl on the left, right? That is a beautiful, beautiful placement of that. So there's a, a really nice swirl right here. So nice. Dang, dude. All right, so I'm nervous, bro. This is nerve wracking, bro. Okay, here we go. We've got an energy here. Another energy. Poke Dex. You've got, oh, nice. You've got a Charmeleon. Very good. That Mewtwo pack looking kind of chunky. Got a Weeping Bell. A Vulpix. Once again, this is the Error Vulpix, the HP 50 instead of 50 HP. So strange right there. We've got a Sand Shrew. A little, 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 little. We've got a Switch. We just flipped a Switch. Flip, flip. All right, the last card in here is right here. Let's see what we've got. A Magneton Holographic! Nice! All right, Water Fox, check that out! Yo, that is nice! All right, the big swirl. Dude, big swirl energy! Look at this freaking swirl over here! Whoa! That is sick! Wow, nice snag, Water Fox. Nice snag. Yo, bigger. Enhance! Guys, the hollow pattern from these cards is blowing my mind. It's so pretty. These are far better than the base set ones. I'm not not even kidding. These are gorgeous. All right, here we go. Well, I hope you get something good out of this one. May the pokey vibes be with you and also with you. I don't know. I don't even, I honestly don't even know what we're talking about anymore. We've got a Charmander. Very nice right there. Charmander out of this pack. Poke bird. All right, get ready, my friend. It's go time. Random words coming out of my mouth. Barack Obama snows. <laughs> what are you talking about? Yo, a Charmander and a Pikachu right next to each other. We've got a Squirtle! Oh my god, this pack had the triple starter in it. You got Pikachu, Charmander, and Squirtle. And one last card here. What is it? It's a Pidgeot Holographic. Wow! Look at these freaking cards! You guys, the, the swirls on these are fantastic. You are calling them like you see them. Look at that. Wow. All right, dude, that's freaking crazy. Congratulations, Poke Bird, with the bird pole! Dang, dude, this one's a, this is a really, really nice looking one. I've been on, like, Edgeware Patrol just seeing, you know, how these are printed, and this one looks really, really nice. The back does have some, but I don't see any silvering on the front. The back did get cut a little, a little, little jitty, a couple little white points there, but this is a fantastic looking card. Dude, the swirl on the top of that is crazy. I'm maybe stealing this from you, Pokebird, for personal reasons. That pack was fantastic. You got the Pidgeot, you got the Squirtle, Pikachu, and Charmander. Taking a big swig of my coffee yet again. Jay Swan, we've got Brando. 269, it has been beat, Tyler. They have to get the chunky Mewtwo. Dude, that Mewtwo is definitely packing some kind of heat in that pack right there. We got Jay Swan. Okay, Jay, I see you for 273, 275 for Brando. All right, guys, Zen is in it for 276. Zen, this could be the pack with the Zard inside. Jay Swan about to walk away with, oh, Poke Bird for 301. Poke Bird, that is still, guys, a fantastic deal on these old cards coming from a certified sealed box right there. Poke Bird going in for 301. Congratulations, Poke Bird. All right, what are we thinking, Poke Bird? Left side, right side. Gotta go with the left. Good luck. We've got a Meowth. We've got a Sand Shrew. And we've got a Nidoking Holographic. Nice. Oh, that is sick, dude. Beautiful, beautiful Nido King right there. Wow. All right. I think that was well worth it for you, my friend. Look at that Nido King is sick. Once again, they really outdid themselves on the actual holographic pattern on these. That's freaking sick. This, it's funny because this Nido King card is like literally just floating in space. Like there's no ground underneath him. He's just there, simply floating beautifully. All right. I mean, that one looks pretty solid, dude. Very nice looking card right there. Let's see. Dude, the Mewtwo pack for the win. <gasps> 
This is the first Growlithe we have seen all day, literally all day. Let's get this Zard. I think that's a good sign if you got the, the fire doggo blessing you. Yo, you trying to trade real quick? All right, we got a Pokemon Center. We got a Dugong. We've got an Onix. We've got an Energy Removal. We've got a Vulpix. Once again, this is that same one with the HP 50, not the 50 HP. We've got a Nidoran female. We've got an Execute. And, ladies and gentlemen, we have got a Clefairy holographic right there. Check that out. Look at this Clefairy. Oh, this is so pretty. Oh my God, look at the sparkle. Oh, I'm geeking out, dude. Oh, dude, once again, I am saying that base set two has a better hollow than base set. Fight me in the comments right here, right now. The way that these like just perfectly reflect the light, like so elegantly and with so much color, pizzazz, definition is incredible. It's really, really nice. So congrats on that. It's been a really nice box. Oh yeah, this is this one is getting steamy. This is so weird. Oh yeah, that pack opened like actually pretty, oh. I was gonna say pretty clean, and then it got weird. Two energies once again. Using them spoons for something, bro. Is that one singular spoon? We got a Sea King. We got Arcanine, yo! All right, let me see if I, can you hear this one? All right, we got a Voltorb. We got a Drowsy. We've got a Cubone. We've got a Metapod. And we've got a Nido Queen. Oh my God, look at her, Yas Queen. Oh my goodness, that's awesome. This one was sitting there for many moons. Look at this card, that is beautiful. This Nido Queen artwork was like one of my favorites. This is one of my favorite ones from Jungle. That's really nice. I don't see any of those little swirly boys in this one, but this like the actual like colors for this one are just really, really solid. Let's see what the right had. Oh, I'll have to wait this one out, my fellow brethren. Nice pole chong. To the left, to the left, right you. All right, here you go. We need, what we need is Danny to stop doing the singing thing. Oh, it's funny because it's just the freaking Beyonce bit where it's like, you must not know about me. <sighs> she, she didn't need to put that in her song like that. She knew it was gonna get stuck in our heads. Okay, here we go. We've got Voltorb right here. And our rare is a Raichu holographic. Congrats, Water Fox, with that Raichu hollow right there. That is a beautiful, beautiful looking card. Beautiful, look at that. That's the second Raichu of the day. The second one. What are we gonna do with all this electricity? The electric pulls today. We've got a little, a couple of little specks of edgeware. It's not anything severe. I don't see anything on the front actually. Yeah, $700,000. We've got a little bit of silvering, just a hair of, oh, actually, it's not like an extreme amount, but it would be enough for PSA to dock you for sure. But regardless, this is a beautiful looking card. One trillion, we're getting, we're getting an option such as one billion, one trillion, over 9,000. Water Fox right there, very good, very good. This is the very last pack of the entire 36 pack booster box. Let's see what it holds. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen, Google search away. This is gonna be the Zard, dude. Last pack magic right here. Let's get into it. The Magikarp, the Super Potion, the Marowak, the little, little, little. You got a Bulbasaur here. You've got yourself a Bulbasaur, my friend. Water Fox, congrats on that Bulbasaur. We've been getting a lot of starters. I feel like there's some packs that have like multiple and then we just like get patches of like nothing. All right, Jigglypuff right there, we've got a Vulpix. This is once again that error Vulpix right there with the HP 50. All right, here we go, guys. This is actually the last card, the last opportunity we have to get this Charizard out of this box. Whew. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see what we've got today. <laughs> oh, dude, I really thought that was gonna be a ninth or a freaking Charizard, man. I really. Really thought that was about to be a freaking Zard. A Ninetales Hollow. Wow, in the background on this with the little swirlies that go up, like the little, you know, smoky. It's nice, it's a nice look. This is a beautiful looking card. I don't, this one I see a tiny, tiny, um, it's like one of those print line scratches going horizontally, like right in the middle, like right here. Um, so 
not gem, but it is a great, great looking card, dude. 12 for 12, so we've got 12 holographics. I will say if we are to do a recap, so I obviously have everybody's cards all packed away in their own specific little spots. So I can't like adequately do a real reca recap where I show you guys all the cards, but I will say I was really, really hoping that we were gonna get a few more of the heavy hitters, the uh, the big bangers of the box. So we didn't get the Charizard, we didn't get a Mewtwo, we did not get a Blastoise. Uh, a little disappointing with those cards, but I will say like, I feel like this was still a, a fun opening, a super nostalgic one nonetheless. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, but yeah, thank you Whatnot for having me. Once again, this is like a really, really cool opportunity, especially as a content creator, to get to open something this vintage, this nostalgic. Really, really brought back some memories. What a trip. Once again, stay tuned for some more of these. We definitely are gonna be doing more box breaks here on Whatnot. If you'd like to follow Whatnot and Super Duper Danny on uh, on Instagram, that's where we, we are posting updates about this box break and all that kind of stuff. <laughs> all right, have a good night, everybody. See ya. Bye. Ooh.